last. Hey, what's your name, brother? Daquan. Daquan. My name is Olam. You asked a question earlier about why they painted. You know what I'm saying? Why they show the images in the, in the church of Christ being what white? Correct. Give me wisdom of Solomon 14 real quick. Bring because it out. now we you get you coming to the understanding. All three of y'all come to the understanding that Christ was actually a black man. That's right. According to the Bible, right? All these books here are being used in the churches, correct? But they don't go fully into the uh, scriptures, okay? Also what we have is called the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is what they call the hidden books of the Bible. Right. These books were removed out of the Bible by the Protestant church because they were protesting against one another, all right? So they removed them books from out of there. This books here of these 14 books are the actual books of the King James Version. Show it to them real quick. Show it to them. Let, let them see. Let them see the table of contents. And then we're going to go into Wisdom of Solomon 14. So here we have the table of contents. This is this is everything added in there. So you see you got the Old Testament, right? Then you have the Apocrypha. This is what he's getting ready to read now. And then you have the New Testament, right? Everyone is pretty much familiar with the, the New and the Old Testament. A lot of people are not familiar with the Apocrypha. And this one got the Jew Exactly. And they have the other books that were uh, written of uh, from King Solomon. You understand? All right. So now we're going to go into the Wisdom of Solomon. Same book, but it's just separate. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let me finish this point. I'm going to let you get and do what you got to do. Give me that Wisdom of Solomon because you asked the question about why do they promote the so-called white man in the churches, right? Let's read what the Bible says. Yeah. Uh, 15, 15 huh? The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 15. Hey, brothers, fo focus here, brothers, your salvation. This is dealing with your salvation. That's going to continue on in life. As far as the, well, the way we see it, it's going to continue. Fighting is going to continue. All right? So just, just focus here. Read that. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. It says what? With untimely mourning. When he hath made an image of his child soon taken away. So this this guy here was a king in that time. You understand? Past the 1400s, right? And his child has died, right? And, and by mourning this child, okay, he decided to do something, right? Read on. Now honored him as a god. He decided to honor his child as a god, right? Read on. Which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were under him. You see that? This man was a dead man. Okay, but now he's going to honor his child. Why? With, with the what? Through imagery. Read on. Ceremonies and sacrifices. Uh -huh. Thus in process of time. It says what? Thus in process of time. In the process of time. Read. An ungodly custom. So this is an ungodly custom that has grew. All right. In the process of time. So you got to think about it. this king child died. So he wanted to honor his child by creating imagery, a vision of his child. You understand? And through a process of time, read. An ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. An ungodly custom that had grown strong was kept as a law. Now. When we look at today, what holiday is normally used when you're envision envisioning Christ? The so-called white man, huh? Christmas. Christmas. Right. You understand? Easter. These two holidays are the two holidays where most of our people envision, envision Christ in their mind. It was kept as a holiday and kept as a law. Right. Right. All right. Read on. And graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. See this? Engraven images. Where that son at? Engraven images. They were what? Worshipped by the commandments of kings. They were worshipped by the commandment of kings. Bring it out! Okay? The kings were saying, you know what? We got to have this imagery for ourselves so that we can worship. Now, this said the commandment of kings. It was only one king whose child had died. But now other kings is getting on the same channel as this one king is saying, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me go ahead and do that. But it's going to speak more. Read. Who, who men could not honor in presence. So men could not honor this, this, this king in presence. Because why? That the, who, where the child had died, that, that's where his grave was at. But if you had a king of Greece, okay, that wanted to honor this, this, this child, 
He couldn't do it in person. So what had to happen? Imagery had to come into place. Paintings had to come into place. All right, read. Because they dwelt far off, they took the counterfeit of his visage. They did what? They took the counterfeit of his vice. So what's what's counterfeits? What is that? Huh? It's fake. It's not the original, right? It's not the original. Correct. Exactly. Because see, we're not in those parts of the lands where it originated from. Right. So they had to make copies. Right. Of it. That's what the king said. We're going to take this custom and make copies of it so that we can worship the place where the, uh, the uh, person was laying, you know, dead at. You know, we can't get there because it was too far off. You understand? Read on. V vices from far. Uh -huh. And they made an express image of a king whom they honored. You see that? Read on. To the end that by, his, that by this, their forwardness, they might flatter him that was absent, uh -huh. as if were present. So by having this thing, they will flatter him as if he was present, okay? So because you gotta understand, they said that they wanted to worship this image, all right? So they're flattering this, this particular dead person as if he was present, okay? That's where they, they go into, uh, let me get here to get deep. When, when you go into the Virgin Mary, right? The whole thing about that. You know they say, hell, Mother Mary of Grace and all that stuff like that? They flat, that's flattery. Right. That's flattery. You know? As if they was present. The same as the person Correct. Correct. Right? Watch this. Read. Also, the singular diligence of the artif artificer. Of the who? Artificer. What's an artificer? Artificial. What is that? Huh? Uh-uh. Uh, Somebody find that word. Real, right? Huh? Artificial is real. Give, give me the definition for artificial real quick. Give me the uh, definition of artificial. But we, what we're doing, we're just showing you that the Bible is real. Right, right. That all the information that we so ever need is in this book because it's not it's not by coincidence that you ask that question. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that we see walking around here, they're never going to act. It's not going to it's not going to stick to them. You understand? That, that here we over here in this land that we call America and we're worshiping a God that, that doesn't even look like us. Right. The Bible doesn't even promote it. Read it. Artificer. Definition. A skilled craftsman. It says what? A skilled craftsman or inventor. See, an artificer is a skilled craftsman or an inventor. So a painter is a skilled craftsman. A painter is a skilled inventor. They inventing what? Paintings, correct? Right. Read that again. Also, the singular diligence of the artificer did help to set forth the ignorant to more superstition. See that? See, the ignorant to more superstition, right? The ignorant is the people who have what lack of understanding. That's right. You see that? And to superficial. And he caused the first people that were ignorant to believe in something that was not true. Right. Bring Read on. For he, peradventure, willing to please one in authority, uh -huh. forced all his skill to make the resemblance of the best fashion. You see that he forced himself to make the resemblance to the best. We're going, we're going to deck this thing out. Right. You see what I'm saying? So when you look at uh, what's his name, the the, the painter Leonardo, da, Leonardo da Vinci, he Michelangelo, all of them, they painted all this stuff on the ceilings in Rome. Right. You understand what I'm saying? All that stuff, the, 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 the Last Supper paintings, all of that, all that falls in line with this. Right. Read on. And so the multitude, allured by the grace of the works, uh -huh. took him now for a God. They did what? Took him now for a God. It's a problem there. How was a dead man that had nothing to do with us is now our God? Right. right. How is that possible? You see that? It's called deception. Right. It's deception. They deceived us. This here, this image here, is a deception. That's right. That there belongs to a physical man. That's the child of a physical man. Christ is a physical man too, but he had the spirit of God in him. That's, That's right. right. You, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We, you, you see that all over the place. 
That's why you saw, uh, uh, what's that, uh, Good Times? You seen that before? With, 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 with uh, 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 Thelma Louise and all of them, they was looking at that painting of Christ that little Michael told them that, uh, that hey, this, this is how Jesus looked. He didn't even want, the mother didn't even want to believe that. They said, no, this is my Jesus. That's Ned DeWino. Didn't even want to believe what the Bible, Michael even told them what Revelation 1 said. They didn't even want to believe it because they kept believing into this lie. Right. right. Read. Which a little before was but honored as. Uh huh. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. It said what? This was a. This. This. Come on. I'm sorry. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. This was an okay, occasion to deceive the world. Where are we reading this from? Where are we reading this from? The Bible. That's right. But you see, people are not, not trying to read because why? 99% of our people can't read. They don't want to read. They are illiterate people. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that to demonize our people, but it's facts. It's, it's facts. If we apply ourselves, we will become smarter to understand these things. Just like what you see here. Just like you young men. You understand what I'm saying? Give me give me uh uh first Maccabees three and forty two. No, no, I ain't get 21. Give me 21 of that too. Say that again. Right. 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 Absolutely. You're absolutely correct. That, and that's the purpose of us standing up here because we want to give y'all the knowledge of the Bible, the knowledge of your history. Right. You understand? Give me that. Read that. Read that. 21. And and this was an occasion to deceive the world. Uh -huh. For men serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto stones and stocks. Uh -huh. The in more the in municipal and that, and that stones and stocks can go into Islam as well because Islam they, they worship rocks. Okay, that's what the Kaaba stone was, a rock. Right. Okay, but then also you can look at the statues that they had here of Caesar Bojan. That's that white man right there that you see on that board. That board, that's his name. Caesar Bojan. All right. They have they have uh stone images of him. All right. Read on. The incommunicable name. Uh -huh. Moreover, this was not enough for them. That they erred in the knowledge of God. So it says, moreover. By painting that image, it wasn't even enough for them. They had to go take it another step further. Read on. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, uh -huh. those those so great plagues called they peace. Read. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. You see this here? Under this, under this, this particular God here, they slew their children. That's what they did. And and then now they, they try to get us to don't follow suit in that practice. Right. That's crazy. It's madness, right? Read. Or used secret ceremonies. Uh-huh. Or, or what? Or used secret ceremonies. Those are ceremonies. That's Christmas. That's why when you think of, uh, you know, on a Christmas tree, the balls. That Those was actual heads. Right. Those were heads. Literally. That's why the most I got. Hold that real quick and, go, and give me uh, um, Jeremiah 10 real quick. I'm going to show you what the Bible says in regards to Christmas. It speaks it of it all. It out. And then we're going to jump back into the imagery. So let's, let's get that real quick. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you. It says what? Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, uh, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. It says what? Thus saith the Lord. So it says, Thus saith the Lord. Read. Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. Who are the heathen? The ones that wanted to paint it the likeness of the imagery there. Right? Those are the heathen. They're not Israelites. Right. We the Israelites. That's right. We were taken down by these same individuals that painted this painting. Right. That gave the authorization to paint that painting. We were taken down and brought into slavery because of them. They the heathens, not us. Right. Don't ever think that you heathens. We hear that often, that we heathens. No, we, we the Israelites. We the people of the Bible. That's right. right. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. So he says, follow not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heavens. What's the signs of the heavens? The clouds. What else? 
Uh huh. The eclipse, but that's dealing with the sun and the moon, right? What else? Stars, correct? That's the signs of the heavens. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them, because they are dismayed at them. They are dismayed. And I'm gonna show you why they dismayed at them. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh -huh. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. They do what? Cut of a tree out of the forest. Now, what particular trees you find in the forest that needs to be cut down? A Christmas tree. Right. Right. Read on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. Is that the Bible? What book, chapter, and verse you reading from? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 4. Now, what holiday do we always hear where it says deck the halls with whatever they say? Jaws of Holly or whatever the hell they say. Huh? I don't care what they say. What it, what, say it again? Christmas, right? It's Christmas. Y'all understand? Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. Now, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, right? That's what they do. But now, there's no need for us to fashion it with nails and hammers. They got that little base that they put into it. When you put the Christmas tree in, they, they tighten it down with a screw and they got legs on it. That's the base part. That's the nails and the, and the fastening of nails and hammers. Right. Read. That it move not. That it move not so that it won't be swaying back and forth and fall on the floor. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. They are upright as the palm tree. Read. But speak not. Uh -huh. They must they must needs be born. They don't speak, but they need to be born, meaning that they need to be picked up and carried. Right. And that's what they do. They go to these little stores, outlets in the parking lots, and they, they buy their Christmas tree, and they put it on top of the car, wrap it down, and bring it home. That's bring the boring out. part that they're talking that's about. That's right. Bring right. it out. You understand? So when it says, uh, 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 learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of the heavens, when it goes into that part, it's talking about stars and, and the... the, the uh, the uh, co constellations of the heavens, right? Because right? why? The heathen are dismayed at that, right? right? How's the, how, how can we associate the cosmos or the constellations of the stars with Christmas? What do you see on the Christmas tree that is in resemblance to the constellations of the, of the heavens? The stars on top of the tree, exactly. Hey, right. You understand? Bring it Christmas out. is it's it's a bunch of madness. Right. It's not it's not in the Bible. That's not our custom. Right. That's the custom of the heathen. Now go now go to uh, First Mac and Peace three. Every time on Christmas and anything on the holiday of Christmas, you spend a lot of money on anything on a lot of things. You become broke as a heathen, right? Exactly. You, yeah, yeah, exactly. Back down to poverty again. Well, yeah, but that's 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 part of the uh, the deception. Because they don't care nothing about you spending the money on Christmas as long as you celebrate the holiday. Right. Because as long as you celebrate the holiday, you'll continue to be deceived. And if you continue to be deceived, you'll continue to be destroyed right. as a people. And if you destroy it as a people, you become nothing. Right. That's what they want. They don't want you to realize that you were the kings of this book. Right. You understand what I'm saying? That's why they try to remove the whole, whole uh, understanding of slavery. They don't even want to teach it no more. They starting with the native, uh, the uh, uh, northern kingdom, the Hispanics in them, over in Arizona. They kicking them out. You see that? They want to put a wall up and all that stuff. So they starting with them. They was the first ones that was kicked out of, of the land of Israel. Then it was the southern kingdom, which was us. Right. So they want to continue to blind the northern kingdom so that we'll never come together as unity and get back into our kingdom. Right. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So they keep passing us this, this false imagery. They keep holding up this false imagery. And this false imagery is seared in your mind to where you don't even have to look at it no more. You can close your eyes and see a white man as Christ. Right. Because of that imagery. Give me that in first uh, Maccabees 3 and 42. The, the book of first Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 40, 42, uh, 48. And they opened the book of the law wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. And what they did, you see, they laid open the book of the law. What's the book of the law? What's the book of the law? This Bible here is known as the book of the law. That's right. This, this is the book of the law here. They laid, they laid open the book of the law. So what does it mean when it says that they laid open the book of the law? What is that going into? Not, 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 not necessarily King James Version, all right? But when it says that they laid open the book 
of the law. What is that going into? Like if I take a magazine and I laid it open, what am I, what am I deciding to do? To read it. In the book of the law, they were studying extensively about us. Right. About what we do. Right. You understand? That's, that was the whole purpose of them taking us down. So they could find out about us and who we are and what we do, how we roll. Read, read that again. And they opened the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likenesses of their images. So it says, and laid open the book of the laws, so that the heathen would what? Paint the likenesses of their images. Paint the likeness of their images. So when it says paint the likeness of their images, who were they copying from? This copying from us. So now, here it is. What is whitewashing? Bring it out. Coloring out the color. Exactly. That's Coloring right. out the color. Right. Bring it out. That's what you call whitewashing. When you go over into uh, uh, Russia, you got we get anyone anyone that's got the book, the Russian icons, or anything that's that's showing any of the relics, none of that. Oh, good. Say that. What you gonna say? I was gonna say, isn't it kind of like sort of kind of like white? Oh yeah. Right. It's Orient. Pick it up. Iconoclasm. What you say, officer? Iconoclasm. Right. Iconoclasm. Right. Exactly. So you can see it here. I wish we had a bigger image. I thought we had one of the signs here where you actually show the the, the uh, Edomite man actually painted it, but put something on there to kind of like just eliminate the uh, actual color. But you can see it here. You can see it here where they can, they started it started out brown, but then they start fading it out. Exactly. 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 So by those doing a, a whiteout, I like the way you say that. A whiteout, whiteout actually eliminates what was actually uh, previously there, so they could be what written over. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's that's exactly what they did. They whited it out. You understand? And that, that was a tactic of theirs. Read that again. Then, then they brought off, and then you got then you got to think about it too. Think about it. We have our own people, the so-called Jamaicans from the tribe of Benjamin, in, in their land, in the, in, in, the, in the country Jamaica. You know what they're doing? They're bleaching their skin. Right. And our people do it here too. The set, where did that thought come from? Who, who, who started that thought? Who started the whole uh, 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 permit. Where did that originate from? That originated from when we was in slavery. It's called uh, a lie or whatever they call it, putting your hand to what to straighten your hair out. Because they said our hair was too what? Too kinky. Right. So like, right when you said, right when you said that they bleached their skin, it reminded me of Michael Jackson back then. When he exactly. And hey, brother, you on point. You on point. Michael Jackson too. Uh, what's the baseball player name? Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa. Same thing with him. He bleached his skin. Right. Because he want to look like them. It's a problem there. That's self-hatred. Right. Right. You hate yourself. That's and right. if you hate yourself, you hate your own people. Right. right. And the Bible speaks against that. So it's a law against that. A, a law speaking on that. Read that again. And they opened the book of the law, uh -huh. wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness. They, they sought to do what? Paint the likeness of their images. Uh huh. Anymore? That's it. That's it. So they, they sought to paint the likeness of their imagery. So now, after they white, whited us out, I like the way you put that, they then start to paint them all selves. That's where Leonardo da Vinci uh, uh, come, in, come in, and Michelangelo, they come in and start painting how they was painting on the, on the ceilings up there in Rome, in the, in the Vatican, and all that stuff. You see that, uh, what's the other movie with uh, Tom Hanks? Y'all know about that movie with Tom Hanks? Angels and Demons. The Angels, Angels and Demons. Demons. Exactly. What'd you say there, officer? The Vinci Code. All that stuff. All that stuff is true. But when you look at the, the actual image, it's, the, the original image, he's black. That's right. He's black. Now go, go back to Revelation 1. Go back to Revelation 1 so we can set this record straight real quick. Let's go back there. So remember what it said in Jeremiah 10. Learn not the ways of the who? Heathens, right? Learn not the ways of the heathens. Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Why is it saying that? What's the abbreviation, abbreviated word of revelation? Yeah. To reveal. The revealing 
of Jesus Christ. Why does he have to be revealed because to the earth again? The Say that he, oh, because he, they want people to know the truth. Exactly. Exactly. They want people to know the truth because they, they knew that there, in past times that there was a deception grown. Right. What we read in Wisdom of Solomon. It was a deception. That it, was a, it, grow, it was a growing custom that was made a law. An ungodly custom that became a law. They knew that. So Christ had to be reintroduced into the earth again in its original state. That's right. That's right. Y'all understand it? So everything you're learning in the church is a lie. Right. Them pastors and I'm not reading this. After we finish with this, I'm going to show y'all something in uh, Isaiah 29. Read what you got. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him. Which who? Which God gave unto him. Y'all hear that? God had to give this to him. Not man. Right. There was no damn king that was giving this information to John the Revelator. Right. It was God. God had to reintroduce his son back to the world again. That's right. That's right. Y'all understand it? The, it reintroduced who the true children of Israel were. Right. What complexion, what nationality, what race were they? Right. John, the revelator, he bear record of what it was that was uh, being spoken to him. Y'all understand? So when you bear record of something, what are you going to do? You're going to write it down. Am I correct? It's like you taking notes. Right. So that's where all this coming come to place. The whole book of Revelation. It's going to say it. Read. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And of all things that he saw. That he what? That he saw. That he saw. All things of which he saw. All right. Not no longer what he heard. Now he's seen it. Read. Blessed is he that readeth. Don't go to 14. Revelations 1, 12. 1 and 12. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Uh -huh. And being turned, I saw seven gold candlesticks. Right. He said, and being turned, he saw seven gold candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Right. So it says, in the midst of the seven gold candlesticks. The seven golden candlesticks. All right. So it's not eight. <laughs> it's not nine. It's not ten. It's right. seven golden candlesticks, right? That's right? So in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Is one like unto the Son of Man, read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a garment. So it said what? Read that part again. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So it says clothed with a garment that was down to the foot. Turn around and look at this brother here. So, uh, uh, so see it. Turn around. Same type of garment that Christ had on. Same type. All right. Read on. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Look around his waist. What he got around his waist? That's what you call a golden girdle. All right. That's what holds the front piece so that it won't be blown all over the place. That was the style of the Israelites. That's right. That was our custom. That was our wardrobe. Right. That's our garment. That's the way we got down back then. That's right. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow, Read. fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. So if his feet were brown, that means his face had to be what? Brown. His arms had to be what? Brown. His, his, his whole entire body had to be what? Brown. Right. So where's this image coming from? Copy of the white man that actually, you know, brainwashed us to make it smash that. Folks, repeat that one more time. Let me give you the mic. It's pretty much saying that, like, the white people had, you know, pretty much uh, did a copy of the you know, original God and, you know, they and twisted onto their own type of style of their own God. Exactly. That's exactly. Right. exactly. That's exactly what, how it went down. Right. Right? So, what was the purpose of it? Let me ask you, brother, what's the purpose of doing that? Why? Yeah, I'm gonna give you the mic. Come on, come on. It's to mislead all our people to own hell and to make their people rule. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's right. It's to completely to 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 eliminate us. Give me that uh, Psalms 83. Read to out. completely eliminate us. That was all a strategy. This imagery, what we read in Wisdom of Solomon, strategy. All of us is a strategy. It was so that you can look at him and hate him. Right. Right. You can look at him. And say, you know what? We don't have to be married. We could be brother, or boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. That's not in the Bible. That's right. So now your, your mind is no longer fixed on the laws of God. Right. Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. That's, That's right. What it says in Isaiah. You got to seek 
So that's our job as the prophets of the Most High, is to bring the word out here to you people, to our people, to do what? Seek the laws of God. Right. Now let's find out about this strategy. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now, understand something. If God had to reintroduce Christ, right, as a black man, and the Israelites is being black, that means the other nations are not, are not uh, what they would call uh, his favorites. Am I correct? They're not his favorites. They are his who? Who would it be called now? I don't know if I'm saying it right. The people that have painted the image of the white of, of the white man, right? He's who? They who? They his enemies. Exactly. That's right. They are God's enemies. Because why? They deceive in the people. They deceive in his people. Right. Huh? But of course they're gonna hate God. Because they weren't selected from the beginning. That's right. They're gonna hate him. We were in rulership. Right. They were our uh, 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 servants. They had to serve us when we were kings. You understand? When we was in our own kingdom, we ruled this whole thing. That's right. right. Them, right. They ain't rule a damn thing. Bring it up. Bring it up. So when we didn't keep God's commandment and God kicked us out of our own land, they said, you know what? We're going to take these niggas. Right. <laughs> they ours now. We're going to paint different images and all that stuff. We're going to come up with different strategies to remove them off the face of the earth. That their name can no longer be remembered. Right. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So when they lifted up their head, they, have, they were proud. This is going into the time of the Renaissance period. The rebirth of the so-called white man. Or the Edomite. Right. There was the rebirth. But before the rebirth, before... The Renaissance period, there was what? Was called what in history? Y'all know? Called the Dark Ages. Right. Right? Why is it called the Dark Ages? Is it because it was a time that it was just darkness in the earth? As a way they, they teach it? It was because of what? Because we ruled during that time. We ruled. We was in rulership at that time. But then we fell and it was called the Renaissance period. The rebirth. The rebirth of who? The rebirth of God's enemies. Right, right, right. You understand? That's why they lifted up the head. Read that part again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden, hidden ones. Mm -hmm. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. For being a nation. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, 
Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.